Are you ready for your brand new life? And I mean the life where you stand amidst your promised land, where where you are is where all of your dreams are fulfilled. Friend, do you really think that you've seen your best days? You haven't seen your best days. The good old days, they haven't been and gone. The good old days, they're just around the corner. This new life, this new life of every dream fulfilled, the healing, the health, the restoration, the relationship, the money, the abundance, the career, the things, this life will cost you something. And before you can cross the threshold of this new life, this promised land that you're manifesting, you have to be aware of what the cost is. You have to have your wallet out and ready and be prepared with your payment to access the promised land. Let me tell you all about it. Hello, you glorious soul, you heavenly ball of light, you energetic being full of love, full of mercy and grace and tenderness, full of hope, the promise of a brighter tomorrow, dreams yet to fulfill. Friend, you haven't seen your best days. Do you honestly believe that you've laughed with the greatest belly laugh that you ever will? Because you haven't. The fat lady hasn't sung. You haven't banked the biggest check you will ever bank. You haven't received award and praise and accolade like you will when you cross the threshold into your promised land. And that's what today is all about. Now, friend, I'm Ben, and you've happened upon the Elevate channel. You'll find me here every single day talking about this stuff. The law of attraction, spirituality, manifesting your dreams, brain science, things I learned, studying for a degree in counseling. Did you know that there's approximately 1,300 videos that I've published to this channel so far? They're all segregated into playlists. So when we're finished here, have a look at the channel, browse the playlist, see what's there. I know you will find something that meets you where you're at. Join my coaching group, there's a link down below. But make sure, friend, that you connect your energy with mine. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing but a second or two to press the button. And I tell you what, it'll mean the world to me as our community continues to grow. Friend, it's not a long message today, but your promised land is waiting for you. What you dream of is dreaming of you too. The separation that exists between where you are and where you desire to be, that gap is closing. The margins are narrowing. Do you feel it? Do you get a sense of it in the energy, in the spirit? As you begin speeding towards what it is you hope to manifest, it moves towards you as well. This is not a one-sided event. You can't just... You can't just sit on your hands and wait for the universe to do everything. There is such a thing as moving forward yourself. However, divine timing does play a role. See, you've got to do all of the things that are in your wheelhouse. You've got to take care of your vibration. You've got to look after your energy. You've got to be a good steward of the gifts that you have. Not disingenuous with your motives, but moving forward into the direction of your dreams. That's how you move the hand of the universe. And this new life that you dream of, the life where every dream is fulfilled and you are basking amidst the glory of that manifested, amazing outcome, where the healing has happened, the money's in the bank, the check is cleared, the lotto's been won, the career is built, the business is open, the relationship is fixed, that person is with you and you are totally in love. Your life is moving in the direction of your dreams. See, for you to actually cross that threshold, there's an admission fee. And so often in life, I sit and I counsel with people who are right at the door of their promised land and they're knocking on the door, but they can't get that door to open. They just stand there knocking for seemingly all of their days. Do you know how many people I sit with and they say, Ben, I just can't seem to break through. I can't seem to get the pieces to fit. I can't get to where I want to get to. And these same people who acknowledge that there is change, that there is moving forward to do, that there is rebirth to be had of their own selves, these same people that I sit with every day 
with broken hearts because they feel so stuck by the dysfunction that surrounds them. They leave our time together, go back into their world and are exactly the same unchanged version of themselves. Now, friend, it is true that what you desire desires you too, but you won't manifest that dream until you are furnished with the skill sets that you require to be a good steward of that dream. That means you're not going to win the lottery if it would cause you to flush the money down the toilet and end up worse off than ever before. That means there is no way you are manifesting that relationship and that love while there are still disingenuous motives in your heart, while there are still skeletons rattling around in the closet, where there are still anger and frustration issues. It's time to move forward and do the things you can do so that the divine can finally do the things you cannot do. There's a price to pay for this new life of yours. When you're ready for your new life, it will cost you your old one. That's the price. So I hope you're ready for it. Are you ready for your new life? Because it will cost you your old one. And you say to me, Ben, that's terrible. I don't want to lose all of these. Listen, I'm not talking about leaving the good behind. What I'm talking about when your new life will cost you your old life is this. There are things in your life right now that when you consider them and think about them, they make you contract energetically. They send you down a rabbit hole of emotional thinking, of reacting. Maybe they're stories from your life, stories from childhood, traumatic events that you've been through. Do you know that there are people in your life right now, you've got them in your phone book, who when you are with them, you go back to an old version of you in the way that you speak, maybe the language you use or the way that you talk about people or maybe some criticism starts to come into the conversation and you say, well, that's just the conversations we have in those relationships. Yeah, that's what has to change for you to move forward. Now, you don't have to burn a bridge. You don't have to cut those people off. But what you do have to do is start being a good steward of your energy. You have to understand that to move into your new life will cost you your old one. There is a new version of you trying to be born. You have to choose with intention to breathe life into that new version of you. You don't breathe life into the new version of you by running back and embracing the old. The dysfunctional way of thinking, the negativity that creeps in, the bad attitude, the less than enough the worry and evil forebodings, the anxiety, the depression, the fear, and you say to me, Ben, I can't help it. That's just how I feel. You feel that way because you think that way. Understand my heart. I love you. And I've fought the good fight. I've been right there in the midnight hour, wet with pillows full of tears. I get it. You cannot move forward until you change your inner environment. The way you change your vibration is by changing how you feel. The way you change how you feel is you change the way that you think. You say to me, Ben, what am I supposed to do? I can't. I mean, these thoughts just pop up and then I'm down the rabbit hole. This thought comes out of nowhere about something that happened to me and it takes me right back to that moment. Someone says something and it triggers a thought in me and it raises an emotion and it just takes me straight there. Look, I get it, friend. I came out of a nervous breakdown with a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder. I worked through that myself to the point where I stand before you totally healed. How? Because I learned to observe my thoughts before engaging with them. If you will do the same thing, you can have a thought drop into your mind. See, we are mistaken when we think it is us who has thoughts. We say, oh, I had this really weird thought the other day and boy, it sent me off on a tangent. No, friend, you didn't have that thought. That thought had you. So a thought will drop into the mind and it will come to you to looking for a dance partner. And it's up to you whether you go and do the tango across the stage of your mind with that thought or not. When a thought comes, the strongest thing you can do, the best thing you can do for yourself, is to look at the thought before you engage with it. 
and say, is this a thought that's going to move me forward? Is this a thought that will help me to expand inside? Or if I go with this thought, will it cause me to contract? Just because a thought comes into your mind, it doesn't mean that you need to go and dance with it. You can choose with intention to replace that thought. When you begin doing this, it seems like a never ending, wearisome event that will never ever change. It feels like you are on your A game all day, analyzing your thoughts, and it's, it's fatiguing, friend. I'm not gonna lie to you. I told you I've been there. And I'm looking at this from the other side now. We all have growing to do. The growing never stops. But with respect to this, Having looked at it from the other side, I remember the days and the weeks, the season in my life, or the times where I gave up and I said, I can't, I, I can't keep going through this process. It just seems like every thought is negative and it's such a chore to try and replace it with something positive. And then I recognized that all I was doing was fighting with my destiny. All I was doing was making excuses to put off the dreams in my heart, yet I was the one who was saying, why aren't my dreams coming to me? We do it to ourselves. Now I love you, but it's time to get real with ourselves, friend, and it's time to recognize there is a price to pay for that new life that you want. You can have that new life, but it's going to cost you your old one. There's no point complaining about dreams not coming true Things not working out for you, things not going your way, you're never lucky, things never work the way you want them to. There's no point complaining about all these things when you remain the same. Seek to come up higher. Light a match in a dark corner. Look in every crevice of your own heart and find something, some area where you can begin working on your mindset or the way you speak, the way you think, how you interact with your thoughts and listen to your inner conversations. Are those the conversations that you will be having when you sit amidst the manifested glory of every dream fulfilled? If they are not the conversations you would be having on the inside when you sit in your promised land with your dreams fulfilled, then you can't be having them now because they are robbing you of your access to your promised land. Go for a little journey. Be introspective. Look for the areas on the inside that you can come up higher. Be gentle with yourself in the process. But keep moving forward, friend. It is a marathon, not a sprint. You have to use your intention and stick with it. And don't overcomplicate it. Recognize when the chips are down and you think you can't go on, the only fight you are having is the fight you're having with yourself. You're in charge of yourself, aren't you? No more fighting. Replace those thoughts with thoughts that make you feel good. Thoughts that spark joy. Have them pre-prepared. Have them ready to go for me. It was my kids. That's about all I had left in my life. So when those thoughts would come, I would just come back to my children. And when the thoughts in my mind would rage against me and they would be so loud, I would speak out to drown out those thoughts. And I'd just say, I'm so thankful for my boys. I've got so much gratitude for my kids, the love of my life. They are going to grow and serve and be wonderful stewards of their gifts. And I'm so thankful that I can be a lion in the sand. I'm so thankful for their presence and their place in my life. I'm so thankful I get to be a dad that those gorgeous spirits have chosen me. Friend, I was in the midst of a nervous breakdown, diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. On so much medication, I spent a year and a half in bed. Believe me when I tell you, it's focusing and expanding on the things that call you forward that get you there, not focusing on and expanding the nonsense that keeps us trapped. You've got this. I love you. God bless you.